Welcome to eHealth Learning, inspiring professionals worldwide. I really look at supervision as um, some key ideas to about supervision. One in particular is that uh, we all have feelings in our work. So whether we are a uh, therapist who touches bodies, we're going to have feelings possibly about our clients, uh, about our room we work in, money, uh, setting your fee, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, if somebody cancels, how do you work with your cancellation policy? How do you hold your boundaries in, in your space, uh, in your practice? So feelings come up in supervision. And so if I were to rather than frame it as a, uh, an actual, here's my definition, I would I, I like to talk more about feelings come up, um, that supervision can happen, as John mentioned, in, in a group format or an individual format, and that there's a uh, difference to both of those and a reason why you might choose one over the other. And then the final thought for me about supervision is that supervision is really about talking, and talking is integrative in how we work. So we can understand some of our impulses when we talk about them, some of our, uh, our emotions, our feelings, our frustrations, our struggles. If we have somebody who actually has a training to provide supervision, we can get guided in a way that it can really enhance our practice. It can enhance our, uh, how we stand out in our practice and how we really take care of ourselves. So that would be my contribution to a definition. <laughs> Thank you.